What's wrong with my microphone? Okay, let's start this one over. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dustin. Why do you from Why Do You Game standing for you don't understand games, and that's why I play them. Welcome back to Dangarunpa. Trigger happy havoc. When we last left off, somebody died to a bunch of baseballs. <laughs> I got a lot of comments since the last video. Um, not from the last video exactly, but comments from this particular series. Many of people asking me to continue playing it. Some finding it funny. One person apparently cried because I'm stupid, because I'm not good with names. That's okay. But we are back. And let me just increase the desktop audio just a little bit here. Give me a minute. I think this is good. Okay. What happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out. Right? More than one of you. No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't cut free of the outside world being trapped in this insane puppet place. Hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Kills, kills, kills! Let's get to the blackened punishment. That's what everyone was waiting for. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I gotta say. I need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. Can you see me? Yes, you can. Okay. He left us there, overwhelmed by the by a nightmare turned reality. One thing I wanted to point out. Okay, well, let me go until I click. Good. One thing I wanted to point out is that uh, the makers of this game, as cool as they are for making such an awesome game, uh, my last video with the baseball death got flagged because apparently the cinematic was copyright, which is weird because that's part of the game. <clears throat> you know, the cinematic is part of the game. I can understand if they used it as a trailer, but did they use it as a trailer? No, I believe they used the very, very beginning as a trailer, which I didn't include in the videos for that exact reason. So, anytime a cinematic happens from this point on, it's going to be... I mean, I'll include it, but it's going to be flagged. It's going to be like, hey, watch yourself. That was copywritten. It was kind of annoying. Anyway, let's get back to the game. I enjoy. I know you enjoy me playing it, so that's why I'm going to keep playing it. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Just everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. <coughs> Niggy. No one even tried to speak. Well, the first guy tried to speak. Nothing came out, though. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment... Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you a mo for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear, Ooh, how you doing, girl? Makoto. You're my new favorite. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. Oh, I must be that stupid. I told you before this, the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure, because she's psychic. <laughs> I'm kidding. And we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Okay, Google. Define infer. 
infer, deduce, or conclude information from evidence and reasoning rather than from explicit statements. Oh. In other words, figure it out for yourself by looking at the um, evidence. Okay. Her final thought was how she could protect you. Huh? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. That was my thought. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway... She was... Uncertain. Man, these pants feel tight for some reason. She wasn't sure she could kill someone, or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends Sayaka and Leon. Oh, Leon. And keep moving forward. Shut up! I know! I forgot about Leon already! <laughs> Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths. That's... I could never do that! No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go! So, instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well... I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well, I'm psychic. What? Huh? I'm kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. <laughs> that joke was made twice this episode, once by me. Chapter 1, To Survive. Does that mean it's over? Yep. Three people died? Oh, yeah! That one girl. She tried to hit the bear. To be continued. That's not the end. I got the despair bat. Oh, just what I wanted. You know, yes, I want to save the goddamn thing. Put it on 12. Achievement one, one is the loneliest number. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Oh, that's much better. Staying in there with her scent still hanging in the air? That would hurt. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? Someone just died like two people. One person died an hour ago. Another person died like a day ago. <laughs> I'm not over it yet. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try to cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Huh? <laughs> We're already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that that's happened once, the question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but Sayaka made the first move. Da da da. Well. But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody have any reason to do anything like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... What do you mean? Are you okay with this? I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tired of all the talking here. The Mastermind seems much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fix their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciatory aiding detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great a risk. So then. It's a high-functioning socialist. Socialist? S sociopath. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. You're not looking suspicious or anything. N no. What? No. What? Uh I don't want to live take it. if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Hmm? Did she say else or anyone? Yep, okay, anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him. It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... So, um... If we haven't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. <laughs> Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you. Not Leon. Not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. In the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Now we get out of the dining hall. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. <sighs> oh, I'm tech. Okay, sorry. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. What was that just now? <laughs> he was saying it's our fault it happened. That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. <laughs> I hope he stays alive. I want him to kill Monokuma. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2. Boy's Life of Despair.
I woke up the next day to Marikuma's normal living annou more normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Of course, he's the only one complying. I fucking love him. <laughs> he is such a schoolboy. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> Doesn't this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? For a second there, I didn't think my microphone was there. Did you just fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just in... Am I just to die in rhythming agony for? So? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from the generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness. The power can be yours. That sounds like kind of a junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm... Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope Speak Academy, a whole new world will open up for you. What the heck? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated! So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world that it, till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But a new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! We won't know till we look. <laughs> Whatever he meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically one trick pony, you know that? Got it. More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Wow, they really did too. Oh. Is that a camera? Yes. Okay. Well, so far no change here. Hmm. Yeah, we've already seen that a long time ago. What the heck? Hey Makoto, you see what's on this inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this awful, a bad, awful, terrible trap. Serious. It, the stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh... <coughs> I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let, Let me out. out of here. Yeah, that. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Nothing new, correct? Yeah. Alright. Hi. My best buddy. Am I crouching? Am I... Am, am I really that tall? Are you really that tall? Am I really that short? Got it. Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It seems the path to the second floor is open up. 
It's also the utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about just in case. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impressed myself. You understand? Well, I'll leave the school up to you. Okay. <laughs> My dog started freaking out. I like you, but I'm not going to talk to you. All this talking is getting a little, uh... Oh! Is the store improved? I want to see the store. Uh, okay. That was the school. But okay. We're going we're gonna to do it your way. Oh, what about this area? Oh, we should check out the other students part of the school first. Alright, you know what? Oops. Oh, I have to click it. The gate, it's been open. This is my kind of a, my new world, so what's up there? Let's find out. Nothing else I do here. Second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, there's got to be something here. Pool! There's guns here. Just a second. Hey, Makoto. Guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. Pool, 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 pool. You have to keep repeating. Okay. But there's a ton of exercise equipment with a locker room, so Sakura's going to go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. I'd love it. Okay. Um, looks like one of these Lifesaver Flotation Donuts. And a coin. There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. And a coin. I got 75 fucking coins. What's this? Some kind of card reader. I wonder what this is for. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Ugh. No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, 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 you seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But, but still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you can ask for. I'm sorry, she would look hot in a bikini. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to set foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um, it's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it, she's afraid of locker rooms? It's a pretty weird phobia. Okay, so... Now is that it? That, yep, that's a... Alright, let's talk to this person and we'll look at the pool. <laughs> or the locker room. Second floor open up, living area has grown, number of facilities available, what's going on? I have to admit things have been made more comfortable for Do us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. Alright. Locker room. Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need the handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course. Really, really? Oh. If you want to unlocker the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... But, what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See, there a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling. <laughs> It'll be all dunga 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 dunga. I've been really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um. My dog's freaking out. Um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. What happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Huh? <laughs> That never even occurred to me. To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there. Now nobody should give, can give their handbook to anyone else. Right? Like that. I'm kind of a genius, right? Because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. 
<coughs> I do not imagine anyone could have would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would be likely to be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because uh, it's all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs. You're at the age that you try humping a plastic bottle. <laughs> so to keep anything unseemingly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> In that case, I would ask you to keep the same... I would ask you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man or woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Disgusting. I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cunning. Do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you. <laughs> See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip, cheer myself up. You got it! I'll join you! Celeste, you hear, Ro? You ought to come with me. As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll pass. <gasps> How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Can I freaking go now? Jesus. Wow, there is a lot of exercise. Ooh! <laughs> now, this is an interesting poster. Obviously, someone puts this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? Wow. Didn't exactly give me a lot of options, did you? Is this the pool? Or is that the way out? That's the pool. Is she in there? Well, son of a bitch. Lockers! Well, I would expect to see that in any normal pool. But is there coins inside those lockers? Okay, how do I back up? Ah. Is that a lifeguard thing? Yes, it is. Hey, Kate. Nothing there. There is nothing here. Okay. Wow, that was fun. Yep, nothing here. Okay. Moving on. You guys still here? Yep. Okay, pool is complete. Second floor, that way. Or first floor, that way. Where's the ladies? Are? Oh, I passed it. <laughs> okay. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful. Okay. Is there... How do I do my map? I forgot how to do the map. Ah, there it is. Oh, this is another classroom. Is the library over here? There's the pool. Another classroom at the end here. Okay! There she is, my favorite! Whew. Kayoko. Remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I want to do much reading in. <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked! How come? Damnation! I forgot how much I don't like this guy. They have all these books here, not one copy of any of my works. <sighs> well, yeah, why would they have comics in the library? <laughs> Plus, 
Most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. I <laughs> do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing. Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the ri rind that contains a meaty pulp of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so full of it. <laughs> I used to. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. And you wanted to say that it was me during the trial. Remember that? You must be pretty happy to have those books around, huh, Co Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm-hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true. But the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Huh? Comic books, young adult, that's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. So pretty much this... Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like this guy. That's why I don't like this guy. It's everything they just said, but say it a little differently. I'm just gonna let him go through this. Thank you. Now, one of the more logical people. But still, this library is most interesting. What's interesting? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Okay, bye. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. There was a coin underneath all that dust. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. Looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time, even though it's a prestigious high school. I thought it was a college. They've been pretty careless about keeping it nice. And there's a coin in the books. <laughs> Packed up with books, looking at it. Yep, yep. You can say the same thing about that, aren't you? Yep. But there's a second coin! I didn't mean to click that. Jesus. Shelf is covered in the dust, but, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke this seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. Unfolded the paper and was read what was written on there. From Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peace Academy must now lower the, cer the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. Th this decision was not easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Make no mistake, this is not the end of our Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as issues reinforcing our, our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. I'm going to assume that means Makoto? No. The hell's the bear's name? I'll just call him the bear. I'm going to assume the bear took over the school once they closed the doors and no one's been here since. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope Speak Academy had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. So if I had to guess, this I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope Speak Academy closed down for at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. 
but I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been all the, in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up the stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must, that must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. <clears throat> Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one, murder, one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there's no other students here is because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make mo no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues reinforcing our closure have been resolved. <laughs> what do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If... if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the Mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. Our Mastermind's motive. If we could figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, that would be enough to get us out of here. Or... Thank you. It looks like a laptop. Laptop looks pretty old and covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried passing the, pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. Or to call for help! <laughs> well, if it's broken, there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, I had a pretty good idea on what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. That was soon. Oh god, here we go. Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover anything new? Any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, and whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead, stuff yourselves to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Okay, but in mind, of course, that's, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh, well. What? There wasn't anything in the what? warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing? Uh, no, not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse? Or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking we're around. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to get find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... <laughs> whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then. Are we done for today? Y yeah. Yeah, I guess so. The air suddenly grew heavy again. Was this Mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Now, there's one thing I've never done, is try to leave my dorm at night time. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. If as such, soon the doors to the dining hall will... Okay then. Sweet. We all promise not to leave our rooms during the night time. There's no much, much else to do. I guess I'll go to bed. Never mind. I guess I won't do that right now. Oh, might I come to the theater. Here we go.
Mr. Manakuma, Mr. Manakuma, do you have a second, Manakuma? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too, my reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Yeah. Oh, that was boring. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated! New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! Okay. He must be referring to yesterday loading your eating handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head back to head to breakfast. What is with all the hurrying up? Okay, nothing new there. Nothing new there. I was just wanting to go to the bathroom because it's early morning. I didn't give a shit about anything else. <clears throat> screw you and your screwy dining hall. I love the illustrations of each character. Oh, right. I, I, right. I forgot about that. Okay, so nothing new. Oh, wait. Bath! I swear to God, I wanted to take a bath since the start of the game. Hey, Makoto. Where was he? The, the guy, the guy who's strictly school and rules regulation based, I didn't see him. Good morning, is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Bayakuya Daka. Faka's no surprise, but a strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough, just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. <sighs> I'm thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> would you might would you make me some tea? <laughs> milk tea, if you please. What the hell's a milk tea? Well Why me? Let's see. Your roundest figure reminds me of the owner of a coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason. This is fine. I could feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi skulked his way to the kitchen. A few minutes later, <laughs> thank you for waiting. A tray in hand, a gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally, you could have made some for the rest of us. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. You're not my... Ooh, he's got a crush. <laughs> It's all about the laws of casualty. Basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. What's the matter? She threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um... 
I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I play, ah, oh, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just too overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I must I first review their menu to see if others offer the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. Oh. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. And since when is she the angry type? She threw it against the wall. Um. I went to all that trouble to make you tea, and you wanted me to go even farther. <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even if cafes that offer proper milk tea, it's always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time, more time to prepare, surely, but <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well... We don't exactly have a menu. I actually have a menu. You little bitch! Okay, what's happened to her? This is not how she is. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. <laughs> okay, your little piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> I do love co coercion. Coercion? Coercion. Coercion. I think it's coercion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Huh? Yes! Thank you! <laughs> Oe. You're like a totally different person just now. Shit. You really want Psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. <laughs> Bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, Bayakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm so worried something might, might have happened to him. What he meant by that, he didn't have anything to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we split up and go look for him. Listen to me! I was going to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, I'll go check his room. Hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. The rest of us can go check the rest of the building, oh, yes, before you know it's too late. Anyway, we have to go do our best to find Biaka. So where might Biaka have gone to? Perhaps he went to check out the second floor school again. Oh, I suppose you're just going to sit here and wait for him? I'm going to go this way. Is he in here? <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you. One knife is still missing. Sayaka took one of the knives that was here, and then she... Alright. I'm not even going to talk to her. She's freaking me out. Bath! Mondo. Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come Shit, on. Shit, man, where the hell did he go? He's got his head so stuck so far up his ass, who knows what's going on with him. Figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. By the way. So what about you? You had a morning morning bath kinda guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. Hot water loosens you up, and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sure thing, I'll have to take your word for all that. What? 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 You don't know what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time, you'll see. I'll think about it. But I mean, it's not like I've, you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? Lockers, one of them is unlocked, I don't see anything inside. Massage chair make me feel kind of old. 
but there's a coin in there. Wow. It's a hell of a bath. What are these? Oh. Bathtub is huge. And that's it. Okay. Is that a fireplace? That is awesome! Oh, it's a sauna. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! <laughs> okay, nothing here. Man, this place is huge. Okay! Finally out of there. You know, for such an expensive school, I think they need to upgrade a little bit. Where was the storage area? Nurse has yet to be opened. Did they say there was a warehouse or something? Where was there a warehouse? over here, then you take a right over here. He really liked this place. Mm. I see, so you came to search this area as well, Makoto. Mm. But you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation, there was no trace of Bayaka. Bayakuya here. An army butcher's on its stomach, as they say. In other words. So I thought maybe he would have come to have his fill. We've all must eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now is no time to get discouraged. We must head elsewhere to continue our search. Server oh, that's a camera. Fridge. Stuff tight with food and drinks. All kinds of stuff piled up. I get excited looking at all. At it all. Food stacked up, from basic ingredients to snacks and candy. It's everything anyone would ever want or need. I could never get half this stuff outside the world. Okay, that's it then. Okay, that's still closed. Where am I going? How come that one's closed, but the other one is not? I thought maybe there would be a third floor, but it turns out there's... This... Well, it's, it's not that. Okay, here we go. Let's keep searching for the... Freak ah, there's my girl. Hey. So you thought to come here too, huh? So. If you think about what Bayakuya was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now. The library. Which one's Bayakuya? Uh, hey God. Nope. Wait a minute. What was what was the button? What was the button? Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. I had a feeling it was you, but for a second there, I thought it was, uh, that girl. 
Oh yeah, your IOE. Okay. Library. Oh boy. I cried out in sudden surprise. Oh. Just drinking his normal morning coffee and reading a book. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Bayakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have had or heard me yelling and started showing up one after another. <laughs> Bayakuya! This is where you've been hiding. Uh, the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. Hm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was reading. I never read such a coarse novel before, but it might prove just useful. It might just prove useful at some point. Well. What were you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel. Well. Wait, so you're going to use what you're learning there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. What? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> Evil mastermind kind of person. It's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile across his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying the deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. Hm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death. Which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> He's right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is part of a game theory. A mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, the order of one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation of which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like kind of an elimination match. I can Actually. talk. I can talk. Entrances, uh, entrance exams, sports tournaments, opening, uh, job openings. Most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been su subjected to here. In this okay. case, our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So in other words... So this, gives, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try to defeat all the others. That can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. For those who want to escape, were to disappear. There would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. His twi it twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds like if, if you don't acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not, not speak like the others. Exactly what I, what I expect from... The Toganami error, apparent. Ugh. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe. It. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but <sighs> do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived with his life accordingly. 
Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Bayakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? Is it because I'm the same as you? Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh, oh well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to you all. You you all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm. It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... Is... That's horrific. Yeah, that. Oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry. Hmm. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But... But, but you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? Hmm. So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you. <laughs> what? Is that all you can say? <laughs> that's unfortunately fortunate you'd waste on your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it. You're dead. Just a second. Hold on. Just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm! <laughs> how is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention with working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time. Possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. I'd rather not become part of this Last Supper just yet. <laughs> Shit. Quit talking like you're a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you're all, on your fr you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. Byakuya. I don't know how to say his name right. There wasn't anything we, did, we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... There is way too much dialogue in this episode! Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! Well, fuck him then. Maybe... He might not be necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for certain someone won't poison our food? You too? Anyway. Well, it's not like it would anyone would even care if I was gone, right? <laughs> She's got a point. I, I didn't like her from the start. And then she tried to blame the murder on me. When everyone else was like, oh, well, there could be something. She goes, no, no, it was him. Actually, I bet you all want me, be go want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. I'm telling you. you just think you don't think that. Ugh. Yep. <laughs> you think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Ah, hey, Toko, wait. Shut up, Makoto. <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can do to bring her back. <sighs> Breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions, and everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired of... <laughs> you too, huh? Yeah, even too much dialogue for the characters in this game, I tell you what. But I don't have time to take even... I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. See, now it's free time, and it's already been an hour. I don't want to go that much more than an hour. Last episode, I think, was two hours, because it wouldn't let me stop to save the game. Wrong button. What the hell was the button again? Oh, God, here we go. Ah, there it is. Thirteen. All right. Yep, 13. Good. Well, I'm going to stop it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
My name is Dustin YDU from YDU Games. It's been Dang on Rumba Trigger Happy Havoc. I don't remember which episode we are on. I just know that this was a very lot of dialect episode, and I apologize. Ugh. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. All my links are in the description. And I'll have to see you next time. I need a, I need a real outro, god dang it. I got a hand workout thingy. There's my outro. I'll see you guys. <laughs>